to draft for game two. Century uh, now starting on the blue side here. So the Shen Ban comes in, and that is not surprising at all, actually. Uh, now that I think about it, Shen, uh, if you don't have, uh, if you aren't aren't able to deal with him with Yorick, uh, it might be time to ban that champion. Caitlyn coming once again for casual mm. Yeah, you know what? I do have to agree. You probably have to ban the Shen. No idea was really clean on it last game. On top top of getting fed. Um, he could have won the ga game, you know, if they were a man down. So definitely a must-have to get rid of. Absolutely. Ashban actually coming in as well, trying to just... Uh, Sentry not interested in playing at all against that same team composition, but Casual Reform, meanwhile, continued to take away the Mordekaiser. And so in this situation, it makes a little more sense because they don't have it available as the first pick. But now with the Ash gone, uh, we'll see what Sentry's first pick is and we'll see what Casual Reform choose to go with in terms of bot lane. Um, I would say I probably expect the Jin out of Sentry once more, uh, just because, you know, that does seem to be a comfort pick there for Power of Will, but uh, interested to see what Casual Reform to go for if maybe the Ezreal is on the table, something along those lines there. Yeah, I'm I'm hoping it's not going to, it's going to be pro hopefully not the AD carry. Senna's being hovered, but if you're going to pick an AD carry, Blind, Senna's probably the best one. Senna, as they say, has no losing matchups. We hate yes. Senna. Yep. Um, all yeah. my homies hate Senna, indeed. All my homies hate Senna. Um, <laughs> no, so Senna is the first pick, you know, really safe champion, really good. Um, really good for a first pick, and it can, of course, be flexed into the support, though I'm guessing it's probably going to be a, an AD carry Senna first pick. Yep, most likely the case. We've seen... A lot of impressive Senna stuff in the league in the past. Here's the Callista as the answer, though. So I like this from Castle Reform. Very aggressive. Wanted to bully you out of lane. And the Yone has been left up, and so it is going to be picked up. We're not exactly sure who that's going to, but I'm going to guess Royal uh, in the mid lane there. And so Sentry going to have to deal with a very uh, a very annoying champion, uh, in, especially once you get more of those crit items. Yone becomes a real beast in the mid lane there. Yeah, I'm... Really excited to see what Casual Reformed can do with this. We, um, we've we seen Royal, obviously, really good. Um, we haven't seen him on a lot of Assassins, though, so far, so I'm interested to see what he can do with that. Check Your Mental seemed pretty solid last game, so I'm always excited to see some Callista, maybe see some FBI-level pop-offs here. Um, Nico locked in again for the side of Century, which I do think is the a good pick. There wasn't really any large issues with the Nico there last game. Yep. Yeah, just a little bit vulnerable to ganks, and uh, they really did have trouble dealing with that Hecarim last game. That was really the... Uh, turned out to be the linchpin after the Shen had gotten ahead. Jade was kind of everywhere, so removing that Hecarim could be something useful, but yeah, it looks like Comfort picks across the board. Century going for the Leona here in the bot lane, and uh, Senna Leona is kind of an interesting, um, it's kind of an interesting lane here, a little bit at odds with objective, uh, but definitely could work if you get some sort of jungler that can combo with it. You know, it's, it's one of those surprisingly strong lanes. Okay. Um, Se Se Senna can do a lot, lot of poke damage, which is, and zone them from waves. And more importantly, because she has so much range, she can really force the enemies into awkward positions for the Leona to counter on. Mm -hmm. They generally won't all in you, but if Senna can get some poke, then you have to respect it because they can, they, they can take away like 60% of your health bar just like that. Sure. Okay, well, there you go. Senna Leona. I've, uh, I don't know if I've ever played against this combo before in my life uh, as much as I've played bot lane, but... Uh, there you go. Interesting situation coming up there. Meanwhile, Thresh Callista on Casually Reformed. That is a very aggressive lane, and they are really going to be look looking to get close and personal with the Sentry, uh, sentry bot lane here. See if they can get those kills. Hecarim does come through in the second round of bans, so they do manage to get rid of that. And Zac as well uh, getting dropped. A a and Vi, so that is going to be a different uh, champion for Unknown Shadow having to pick up the second round of picks and we'll see what he goes with yeah so far i'm gonna i'm looking towards putting him on a hyper carry whether that's something like graves or even something a little bit spicier like the kha'zix i wouldn't mind yeah, kha'zix. um Jax, maybe yeah Jax. anything that can hard carry for now um for now we're just gonna have to wait and see um i think it's who he picks his jungle is gonna largely depend on who uh casual forms next pick is yeah, casual reform now with a top laner 
uh, and a jungler still to pick as well. So we'll see what Jade goes with. Uh, both junglers going to have to go with something else. Like you said, Graves still available. Things like Volley Bear are still available as well. So, um, you know, all sorts of options here for the jungle. And it is actually Nidalee coming through for Jade. Uh, so that's going to be a lot of fun to watch. Nidalee, very high skill cap jungler and can make do a lot on the map, can make a lot of impact. But if you aren't able to get that speed with which you clear the jungle and uh, put pressure, you can really fall behind against maybe a better duelist. Yeah, it's... Uh... Um, definitely interesting. They first picked the, they picked the Nidalee. I guess obviously wanting to reserve the counter pick for top lane. It looks like that's how they're going to try to win through the game. I do like the Nidalee just blind. Um, Nidalee's hyper aggressive. You know, worst case scenario, you have a middling early game and you're able to give out some heals. Um, that being said, Yorg picked back up. Um, yeah. For, or Dragon King, which you know you can't complain about. If it's comfort, it's comfort. Yep, Yorick, uh, not a bad blind pick, really. Um, of course, Shen really did do well. Uh, no idea on Shen did well into him, but with the first blood and with an early kill and some jungle attention, hard to work against. Xin Zhao being hovered, and there you go for Sentry. So uh, this does somewhat fit into that um, carry uh, category that you were looking for there for Unknown Shadow. We'll see if the Xin Zhao is able to invade if you can find nidalee in the jungle and get a knock up you can get some early kills so i'm hoping to see some aggressive pathing coming in from unknown shadow here yeah i i do we don't xin zhao is one of those champions that we don't see very often but you know it's in theory not too bad here he's yeah. really good at early skirmishes which is what on um, one of the few areas century was able to capitalize on last game renekton picked up for the side of casual formed yes that is that is incredible, obviously. It's the very famous Nidalee-Renekton combo. It just means that you have full control over the top side of the map yep. at any point before 20 minutes. So it's definitely going to be very hard for um, for uh, Unknown Hero to um, to carry it here. So it's going to be on him to go through the go through the bot side. Yeah, definitely bot side. Going to be focused. And uh, with that, we are going to go to one more competitive integrity break. We're going to take a few minutes while these teams load up into the rift. And we'll be back with game two of Century Esports versus Casualty Reformed. Okay, welcome back, everybody. We are a little bit late to the party because there's a party starting in the jungle already with First Blood going over to No Idea on the Renekton. And somehow, it doesn't look like Sentry is going to be able to get any kills. Jade once again with a kill and 2-0 already before we even get the chance to say hello. That is ridiculous coming in from Casually Reformed and a bit of a tragedy for Sentry Esports there. Man, the double cheese in two games in a row. That's that's the giga tilt that is. Oh, there's no. There, there's no way you don't you don't get a little bit annoyed by that. But um, you know, we saw last game it really snowballed. This game it doesn't necessarily have to. Um Unfortunately, I can't actually see the, the game right now yeah, as no Wes worries. is editing just, stuff behind uh, just, the scenes. Just editing something. I think uh should be good now as we're back into the game sorry about that folks but yeah already a thousand gold lead at uh, 138 definitely not gonna be the most ideal position there and uh that is uh yeah a little unfortunate but uh we will press on as will century esports there and as i switch around everybody's names there we go uh okay so We've got uh, 2.8k to 3.9k gold. We've got no idea on Renekton already with a kill and a, and a, a longsword, which is so, so difficult to deal with. And we got Royal in the mid lane doing a whole bunch of damage to Deadfish after getting two assists. Meanwhile, Jade as well uh, got to uh, get, get some gold for himself, but opted not to go back for another item. And so just a very, very difficult situation here coming in for Century Esports. But like you say, the snowball doesn't have to happen again the same way it did last time. Yeah, you know, it's definitely going to be harder. It looks like they're getting caught by the level 2 power spike again. Yeah, Mako um, has happened. to flash, actually. Deadfish might have to do the same here. Oh, Deadfish so close with the passage there. But it is Royal not quite able to get that kill. And uh, also not the flash having to be used by Deadfish there. So escapes with a sliver of health, goes back to base. 
See, the mathletes are at it again. As yeah. I say that, it looks like Power Will is going to get hooked up. Yeah, Ren stack nice stacking. Yep, stacking uh, up. Not quite enough there for the kill. So last last game it was last game it was hard for them to stop the shit. Shin Snowball, this game, it looks like it's going to be a little bit harder, even on the Renekton. Mm -hmm. Obviously a very Snowball champ. I'm either, I'm hoping that uh, Unknown Shadow is going to go, go up topside to help him out, or at the very least that Dragon King is going to stay all the way back, making sure he doesn't uh, making sure he doesn't feed kills kind of like he did last time. Yes. Um, <laughs> but it does look like Unknown Shadow is looking mid now. Yeah, Royal doing well to get away from that one, but Deadfish definitely getting the better of that trade. And so we'll see if they continue on, because this 2v2 would favor uh, Sentry here if they did manage to find it. But the bottom, or the mid and jungle duo of Casualty Reform just retreating into the jungle. And be able to back off, giving Deadfish a little time to catch up and farm. While at the bot lane, actually does, uh, Power of Will has managed to stay even in farm, and so... Like you said, this bot lane of the Senna Leona can have its dangers. Royal now going for more here with the aggression, but Unknown Shadow is in the wings and Okay, Royal mm -hmm. managing to get back, no problem, using the run it back there. I'll yeah. Say that, because I can't remember still didn't look up the names of the spells. Professional caster, by the way. I believe the technical term is mini echo alt. Or uh, yeah, annoying ability. <laughs> Speaking of annoying abilities, no idea, no problem. Killing uh, Dragon King, and Dragon King is not having the greatest series, and uh, it's not completely his fault. Uh, it just a, uh, he's been put into a very disadvantageous situation at the beginning of both games. Uh, this game, perhaps even more so, against Renekton with early kills, so difficult to deal with. The only thing you can sort of maybe, you know. Uh, the only silver lining you can have is Renekton in some ways doesn't scale quite as well as the Shen. Uh, doesn't have that global ultimate. It falls off a little in damage, especially against the long range. So we'll see if they can last until then. But for now, it looks like Casually Reformed well in control here in game two. Okay, yeah. I have a question. Sorry, I'm just going to interject real quick. I have a question about um, <laughs> animation. When it comes to Yone jumping back yes to where he came from yep if Xin Zhao yep. dashes to him right before he goes back does Xin Zhao no. go with him no 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 definitely not oh man that's so lame uh, I know, you know right you know who might go with him <laughs> you, know, you know who might go with him is some someone like Maokai who yeah Maokai goes would. to your as opposed to going to the mm. area goes to your your champion uh and like slow it's targeted um that yeah. one might uh so that would be an interesting one, but we don't have a Maokai in this game, unfortunately, so we don't get to see that. Uh, Leona, by the way, as well, wouldn't, I don't believe. I think no, Leona's... Leona... I think Leona would. Would Leona follow? So that might be an interesting yeah. interaction. Le Leona, Leona can follow people. I don't yeah. know if she can follow specifically Yone, yeah. but I, be like, I believe she can. If, it, if this game she is any follow. form of consistent. Yes. Yeah. Here's yeah. a hook coming in, but Unknown Shadow is in the back, and this looks like a good gank coming in here. Both flashes having to be used... Decremental being able to get away with the Lantern. Dragon King with a flash and actually a nice cage there. Does manage to trap uh, no idea, but Jade still on the chase. Dragon King no escape abilities anymore, and he uh, hits the uh, Scryer's Bloom in a fit of rage there as he goes down for a third time already in this game, Dragon King. And if you're working towards that Trinity Force, you're in such a difficult position having to buy... Things like uh, just a mana crystal, a blue a blue crystal early on. So, you know, it just doesn't help you at all in the lane. So, Dragon King having to teleport as well. Jade with full control of the top jungle uh, of the Century Esports. In general, just a very difficult situation. But Unknown Shadow responding correctly, trying to encroach into the jungle uh, in the bot lane there. But will it be bullied out there by the Thresh? You know what I did want to say? by dragon king technically was the optimal plant usage he wanted to make sure <laughs> that uh jade wasn't oh man dragon king yeah. uh he he died yeah uh, he died okay what? stefano sorry you gotta stop again because unknown shadow's getting caught in the jungle unknown shadow <laughs> did have the flash but didn't feel like he was close enough to the wall to use it and jungle control fully in the hands of casually reformed here now it's royal going up and 
allowing dead fish to push in the mid lane, but they just have such control, and you are in such a difficult position here as Unknown Shadow. Not surprising they'd focus him as he did pose the biggest threat to them. Here's dead fish going for the ultimate. It's going to get a lot of damage here, but Royal, very strong duelist on Yone. Managed to do a lot of damage, and Deadfish ended up having to flash away, but a nice hook there from Sean. Waits it out. Beautiful patience there shown by Sean, and that is going to result in the kill in the mid lane. So Deadfish goes down as well, and uh, Royal 2, 0, and 2, uh, and Sean with 4 assists here to his name. Nice roaming there by the Thresh. Uh, I was really well played by Thresh. You know, I think it was a special um, said that, like, Support is like 40% 40, 40 patience of just yes. w watching your enemy mess up. So really good job keeping hold of his, his hook there till after the flash. Um, unfortunate by Deadfish, but you know, what can you do? Um, yep. He's been ganked more than once this game, and he's only he's only died once. So yes. overall, definitely could be worse. Yep, absolutely. But in terms of the general casual, uh, the general Century Esports situation, it could hardly be worse, you might yeah, say. As, uh, there could be eight kills. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And we'll see if that does come to pass. Now Royal continuing to aggress here on Deadfish. And Deadfish now taking a lot of damage once again. Takes it right as he gets to lane. And so it's going to be so difficult to you know, get any sort of farm going or any sort of lane pressure going here. Dragon King getting zoned out. Look at that. One plate left only for Dragon King at the at, on the top turret there. So really, really difficult. Here's Royal coming in from behind. Will Deadfish be able to escape it this time? Does manage to get just away, but Royal gets in range. Deadfish too slow. Only level one boots there. and uh, Casually reformed. If possible, looking even more dominant in this game. Uh, so, so difficult to come back from this. It's almost starting to feel like a wash already. And uh, here's an engagement. They're trying to go back in. Power of Will now doing damage on the side, but they are outnumbered as Royal shows up. Power of Will flashing away. Mako very low as well. Looks like they Power of Will might get away. The spear just misses there, and Power of Will going to go back towards his own turret, but not going. He doesn't have anywhere to go, and the shield coming through. But Unknown Shadow doesn't even manage to get away as Sean able to get the peel away from Jade. And, so just nothing going right here for Sentry at all. Known Shadow trying his best, but not able to get anything done either. Dragon as well went over, and it's 0-11 coming in for Casually Reformed. Yeah, Unknown Shadow being to hold two levels down on Jade, and then even one level down on Sean the support. It's got to feel bad. Didn't have access to his ult that fight. Um, not that it was going well before that, but just the extra added added discomfort of being two levels down really isn't helping yeah exactly so it just uh, it just fe it's a feels bad right here and it looks like no idea might get a full burst combo that is one combo of spells there from no idea taking one down as dead fish going down in the mid lane feels just par for the course at this point uh, and casually reformed they are playing really well they they have been able to snowball this lead in a really effective way you know uh they they didn't just sit on their laurels they really took control after getting that uh, those two early kills and just really unlucky, you know. You, you gotta wonder if Sentry just decides in the future not to go for early invades because it, it just turned out so poorly for them in this game. And, uh, you know, why, if you can take the ri not take the risk and at least start off on even footing, you definitely are in a better position. And for now, no idea. Ten, or three levels ahead of Dragon King. Dragon King going in, though... Uh, because it, he does have some reinforcements, but no idea takes him down once again in one combo. Known Shadow not even able to catch up, and Mako continues to chase, but not able to get anything there. Deadfish trying to steal this away. Stefano hasn't talked in hours, it feels like, as action continues to happen around the map, but looks like we <laughs> finally might get a break. Yeah, no, I... Uh... I had to go silent for a bit there because uh, it looks like casual formed is um, not reformed and being very toxic and almost spawn killing <laughs> yeah, them exactly. on the side of Sentry. As I say that, it looks like Mako getting into a little bit of a fight with Royal, but Leona's too tanky, um, high skill cap champion, mm -hmm. um, is able just to walk away. So, but unfortunately, it doesn't look like there's even necessarily a lot a lot to analyze this game. It's uh, just looking like more of the same from the first game of just winning lanes, winning games kind of deal. Yeah, absolutely. Missing hooks, kind of, winning games kind of <laughs> games. Well, I mean, to be fair, that hook was fully blind. 
Uh, Mako now caught out. Mako's trying to catch check your mental, but Sean following him. Bit of a clown car situation there as Mako does evade that uh, flay, but at the cost oh, of no. Power of Will getting hit by a hook there, and they burst him right down. Not a single member of Casually Reformed uh, is weak right now. All of them are so powerful. And Aeris Unknown Shadow having to do so much work just to contest a blue buff. Uh, no wins. idea. So much yeah. damage. The 1v2 coming in from Renekton. Oh, it's just painful here. As double kill coming in once again. Jade going to be trying to gank Mako. And actually, he does get the stun down. But Sean still had turret aggro wisely done there by the Thresh. Continue with that dive. And so the Rift Herald spawned here. Going to take down the bottom turret. And 18 kills to zero. I hardly even want to uh, cast my eyes upon the stat lines here in this game as uh, they are they are painful to behold. But an, actually a nice flash there coming in from Deadfish. We'll see if that fight continues as uh, our directed camera wants to focus on Rift Herald. Power of Will, though. Uh, directed camera once again being a prophet as Power of Will goes down once again. Deadfish now going to go down as well to Yone and... Second hit from the Rift Herald will allow them to take down that turret as well. Meanwhile, top turret going down at the same time. No idea. Once again, killing Dragon King. And this just feels like uh, a massacre at this point. It is even worse than last game in terms of where Century Esports is at. Almost twice as bad. And they got twice as many first blood kills in the jungle. So maybe there's a correlation there. Uh, we will see. Hey. What we did find out was we did find out Sean's weaknesses. He hasn't missed a hook this game when he's seen the opponent. Yes. So it's really easy for Century. All they need to do is make sure that Sean cannot see them for the rest of the game. <laughs> it's perfect. There, there's the win condition this game. Yeah, exactly. So as we were formed, uh, very strong and uh, difficult measures uh, proposed by Funky D over here to... Uh, to um, avoid the sean hooks but we'll see maybe uh maybe sentry can do something about it and uh hoping to see at least a little bit of a comeback here from them but it does not feel likely at this point in the game yeah at this point it just seems more like a wait for the clock to tick down kind of thing um 21 to 0 about to be 22 to 0 with ooh. That has to feel bad. I almost Jade Q dealing half the health. Literally blinked and missed that kill. Uh, so, <laughs> I, you know, a uh, 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 more impressive work there coming from Castle Reform. There's Mako going for the ultimate. They want to go in here, but nice. Play it there by Thresh, and the hook comes in on Unknown Shadow. He gets away, but Mako is too far up. Checker Mental taking him down, and power of will and unknown shadow, just so little they can do in this situation here. Check your mental. Might go down here, actually. A really nice ultimate there coming in, and there's the kill! Shut down hey coming in for the Xin Zhao. Unknown shadow taking one down. Sean almost took that went down as well, but uh, staying alive there. Good job. Actually, very well played there by unknown shadow to use that ultimate uh, with the flash. That Callista behind the tower. Yeah, that was... Uh... But Jade does take him down with the poke in the end. And Yone goes back there. Steadfish taking down Sean. And actually, Deadfish with a double kill, shutting down the Yone as well. And so maybe a little bit of overcommitment here coming in from Casually Reformed and punished by Sentry. So uh, it really is Dragon King who has gotten the worst of it in this particular game. See if he can get his revenge here, though. Uh, 1v2 against Renekton hasn't gone well for them in the past. They still don't have... Any sort of heal reduction, and yeah, no idea with the Blade of the Ruined King doing so much here. If Power of Will can get anything done. Dragon King taking a lot of damage here, but the heal comes in now. No idea, very, very low, has, has to flash away. And no idea, still pretty low, but it doesn't look like they're going to be able to get much done. Except Deadfish from the side goes for the stun and misses. And so Deadfish, they continue chasing. No idea, not going to have the dash up, but ah, Deadfish just out of range there. And... Gonna continue Boots. the chase, but here are Jade and Sean coming in from the side. Look at the mini map. Oh, no. That is a scary sight. Da no, 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 da no, da no, da no. Da da <laughs> Jade with the double kill coming through. So much damage there. And, you know, can you really blame Sentry for going for that chase? Uh, I certainly can't. I want to get my lumps where I can, but um, punished there by Jade and Sean coming in from the side. You know what? I don't want to put my uh, my man Sean on blast too hard, but I know this was almost three minutes ago now, but 
we all definitely saw him get Callista ulted in and then bunny foo foo it so hard and miss every skill <laughs> shot, right? Okay, like that let's... wasn't in my head. Well, uh, yeah, no, that that definitely did happen. Oh, nice splash there by Sean. But uh, yeah, no, I can confirm that happened, Sean. Uh, you know, we'll see, we uh, see you. what you have to say for yourself about that. Uh, but, <laughs> what, but what probably still... happened is he closed his eyes so he couldn't yeah. see them for a second. Ah, that's there we go. that's probably what happened. Yeah. Fully whiffed on that one, did Sean? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And um, <laughs> Decker Mental asking him to check his own. Uh, we'll see if we can get that joke in every single time we cast <laughs> this player. But uh, now inhibitor turrets, the only structures remaining besides. Uh, the Nexus base here, but Deadfish actually gonna go in and does miss the ult because of the peel. Mako taking so much damage there, and that's Leona not tanky enough. The hook comes in, air onto Deadfish, who uses the uh, Hourglass and Royal, taking a whole bunch of damage, but not quite enough to take him down. Oh, that hook was, oh. that. that is one of those hitbox <laughs> situations there. Check your mental though, now going in really hard. Once again, taking a lot of damage and shut down again by Unknown Shadow, no idea. No ultimate available, so Unknown Shadow might be able to take him down. Goes over. Unknown Shadow, a lot of damage, but the Quadra kill coming in from Sean. And the ace in the end. There is the, going to be the turret going down. And they are going to probably have to back off uh, after this, potentially getting the inhibitor as well. But players are spawning, and no idea. They are going to stick around here. So see if they can get this tower. This inhibitor, yeah. I should say. That's got to be a bad feeling when Renekton has more kills than your team almost has levels. Um, <laughs> Ooh, yeah, looks like he's about to go kills, in. No idea. Oh, so much damage coming in. And now Mako going to be the next target, but no idea. Might have overextended a little bit. Looks like they are going to finally shut him down. And that went over to Deadfish. He's gotten three big shutdowns in the last little while. Got an hourglass for himself. And uh, Sentry hold for now. Raid boss down, ladies and gentlemen. Raid boss down. Renekton finally eats the dust, and unfortunately, or fortunately for Sentry, they can do that to him again, and he still has a 700 gold shutdown. Yep. So, you know, definitely making a lot of gold <laughs> off that. Probably not enough, but, you know, we take it where we can get it. I remember the only perfect game remaining would be Jade, and so Jade should be the target uh, if Sentry are going for the full Nelson here. We'll see if they can take down the Nidalee as... Dragon about to go down. That's the third dragon. And it's Cloud Soul again in this game. So Soul not as impactful as it would be in some games here. Uh, they're going to take that down with no issue. Here's Deadfish uh, going for the stun. And might have been pretty uh, overextended as Jade very, very quick in the jungle. But there's Power of Will to zone them out. Power of Will having to back off. But they are going to get away here. So Sentry should really greed for Jade here, because not only will it ruin his perfect game, but he also has Medge Eyes, so it'll yes, feel like exactly. extra bad. Yeah, you really want that kill onto Jade, but Deadfish got caught here. There's the Zanyas with the uh, with the ultimate, and the Flash coming away. Good timing there by Deadfish. Nice ultimate by Mako to keep them away, but will it be enough? Here comes Deadfish. No, Deadfish went in with the fake, and Power of Will now getting jumped on. This might be the final push here, as once again, the Eternal 1 versus 1, Dragon King... Uh, doomed to be killed by no idea over and over again and looks like this might be the final push here deadfish the only player remaining to defend against this not very many minions though but we'll see deadfish can do anything here comes the teleport this is a big deal because it managed it lets them stay but instead they back off anyway look at that hook max range coming in and now that that kill has gone down hang on the shutdown comes in no perfect game for you jade and no an unknown shadow makes it happen and now it just feels like a bit of a tug of war here as they fight for control over the nexus turrets no idea finally taken back and they're gonna go push down that bottom turret there Oh man, is Sean Thresh one of the mascots for Kringle? Because his hooks are snapping to people. That was twice now. Easy peasy. More importantly, they did get the oh. shutdown on Jade. <laughs> Sean with a Oof. full on whiff on an um, immobile target there, just to prove you wrong. As the curse <laughs> comes through once again, but uh, it isn't going to make a lot of difference here for the team. They're going to be able to uh, continue to push down. Actually, going to go for the reset here. Um, and probably wait for a little while to let Sentry lick their wounds, go for the final push a little bit later. Yeah, you know what? When in doubt, you know, health bars were looking a little bit low. I'm sure they have a lot of gold. There's objectives they can take. 
Uh, Dragon Soul is going to be in ju um, just under three minutes. They could even bear in now. They could go top lane. A little bit safer just to reset. Not that there was much danger, but might as well eliminate it while you can. Absolutely. Yeah, and so the uh, Rift Herald summoned down in the bot lane. It'll probably be taken down. I doubt it'll make it to the Nexus turret, but Jade going to go for the escort mission, and Power of Will is here to defend. So this is the area of action on the map. Power of Will. Getting... Oh, getting hit by the by the spear and that's a huge play there by jade going to go like with you know 75 percent of hp meanwhile the rest of the team is on the baron so if jade does get caught here well not gonna be much they can do even even then but they do manage to take down shelly there mako still going for jade and flashes in paid flashing the emote and mako. the next tier emote there that was some <laughs> And actually, High Unknown level. Shadow looks okay. like he might get this. Unknown Shadow, yeah, there is the Zanyas and Jade. No flash available, so the shutdown finally comes in. A thousand gold over to Mako. Uh, <laughs> and Unknown Shadow will clear out this wave as uh, they fight valiantly to clear out the minions right in front of their base. Deadfish still not managing to get anything, but they're going to all group around. This might be Royal overextending a little bit because he had to use that, but so much healing, and now the cavalry has arrived. Here comes Sean with the stun. The Yorick has already gone down. So has Mako. Power of Will, the only one remaining. Now Unknown Shadow here, but Unknown Shadow with an impossible task. Should he choose to accept it, he's going to have to go into four of them, and he doesn't really get the choice yeah. in the end. There was no choice there. <laughs> Finally gets gets the kill but that is going to be game 247 kills just an absolute bloodbath coming in from casually reformed and that is going to be the 